Go. All right. So we're today we're taking a river trip. We're starting on the Tuscaroras River. We're gonna do all the Muskingum and go down to the Ohio River, which is 112 miles. This will be going over the course of seven days. Cool. And seven nights. Seven nights. It's like Noah. That was a little bit longer. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we'll make it there. Hopefully. If the good Lord's willing and the river don't rise. Yeah. Or drop. Or drop too much. Hey, Danny. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Tired? Yeah, I'm kind of tired. I had to paddle about five minutes up to pick up with you guys. Hmm. Kind of. I had to. I'll tell you something like today, so. What is it? It's a smallmouth bass. How big is it? Seven and three quarter inches. What did you catch it on? A jig. A jig? Not the fly rod? No, not the fly rod. No. Oh. Well, we need it twice that length. Yeah. Okay. Morning, campers. It's day two. We did 16 miles yesterday and didn't take any video when we got here because it uh, started pouring, pouring rain when uh, we were setting up camp. So fortunately we got the camp set up mostly before the real storms hit and then uh, it stormed for about two hours and uh, it's there's it's rain coming down now not really rain it's dew off the trees I think the rain's mostly done so we can break camp and it's not raining and uh, get uh, get underway it, uh, we all slept pretty good. It, uh, after being on the river and being, I'm still tired. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm still tired. But uh, I did get plenty of sleep anyhow. So uh, we'll see if we can get another 16 miles or so in today. We've got to go through Dresden. We'll have our first experience with the lock system. So we'll see how that goes. This is the view from inside my shelter. We had, uh, we all did hammocks and tarps, and I think they they held up for the most part. We did, especially with setting them up in the rain. We didn't have a time to tighten things up too good or anything, but uh, I think everybody stayed pretty dry. 
warm. I stayed warm. Joey said he got a little cold, but... This is uh, lock and dam number 11, as the sign says, but the lock, what they don't tell you, it's not operational anymore. So we had a portage around the entire lock, which I think it was about a 300 yard portage, but it was uh, it was a little tough. Um, actually, it was, it was decent for walking in the grass and everything, but uh, we just got a lot of junk with us to carry around it.